A Fox 35 exclusive. Tonight we are learning more about this killer whale that washed ashore in Flagler County one year ago today. It died after stranding itself there, and they still don't know why. Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith joins us in studio with that story. So Marlisa, researchers hoping the bones are going to tell a story. Yeah, John and Luann, the remains of the orca were taken from the University of Florida to the Smithsonian back in August. They say this represents the first complete skeleton of a mature orca in the Smithsonian's marine mammal collection. The funny thing is we actually don't have a full skeleton of a killer whale, uh, an adult killer whale here at the Smithsonian. So this is the first one that's come into the collection. A full skeleton full of answers. These new images show the bones that are now being studied to find those answers. It's very valuable. And then the, the fact that it comes from Florida where these don't occur very often is also really interesting to us. This 21 foot killer whale found beached one year ago today in Palm Coast was one for the history books. We come to this beach very often for so many years. I've never seen anything like this. Killer whales don't really, really often occur in Florida. It's unclear what population this originally came from. So it's possible it came from a Caribbean population, potentially. The orca was taken from the beach to the University of Florida, where it was covered in hay and compost material for five months so the remains could skeletonize. It was fairly decomposed and brought it up to the Smithsonian and finished sort of cleaning everything off. And so the bones from that then uh, went into our large scientific collection. So far, they know the whale was an older female and had a crack in its shoulder blade and it had a large hole in one of its vertebrae. Parts of its spine that looked like it may have had an infection at some point. As for its age, FWC will take a look at the whale's teeth to figure that out. I'm hoping that it was something where it died of old old age or something and it wasn't you know necessarily the victim of a ship strike or something like that now the research on this specimen is far from over it will eventually be placed in the natural history museum's collection of marine mammals which will then allow it to be available to researchers from around the world the skeleton will not be on display to the public though live in the studio marlisa goldsmith fox 35 news marlisa thank you